five friends are shown in the opening scene getting ready for their Croatian vacation. They want to make the experience unforgettable by hiking and climbing tall mountains. The group consists of Guillaume, Chloe, her boyfriend Loic, a nurse, and a couple who are experienced hikers, Fred and Corinne. Fred asks Loic whether he feels comfortable with Guillaume traveling with them before they leave. Guillaume is Chloe's ex-boyfriend who is still in love with her, it turns out. The gang departs on the trip when Loic says it's okay. They enjoy a pleasant few hours of driving until they reach the trailhead, only to find it blocked by jagged boulders in the mountains. In addition, a warning sign warns the area is dangerous for hiking. In spite of this, the skilled climber Fred ascends the sheer rock face and persuades the others to cross the path. He also sets up hooks and a rope harness so the others can imitate him. Despite his obvious fear, Chloe encourages the inexperienced Loi to continue. Gilam starts talking to Chloe while they wait for him to come. In addition to expressing his joy at seeing her after a protracted absence, he inquires about her well-being. Here, it becomes clear that Chloe has been battling trauma and guilt over the unintentional death of a young kid while receiving therapy. In response, she says she's feeling well and hopes this hike will help her feel even more revived. They discover that the trail is more difficult than they had anticipated as they continue on their quest. After some time of climbing, the group must cross an ancient, precarious suspension bridge in order to get to the other side. Fred goes first, Guillaume comes next, and Chloe comes last. But when it comes to Lewick, terror paralyzes him and stops him in his tracks. When Corrine notices this, she tries to assist him, but her boyfriend restricts her from doing so because the bridge cannot support two people at once. Then, Chloe calls on Loic to come see her, and he succeeds in reaching the other end. They are unaware, however, that the bridge is already close to collapsing. When the time comes, Corrine crosses the bridge. She is left hanging by the harness as the ancient bridge abruptly collapses as she approaches the halfway point. Red quickly tosses another rope in her direction and starts dragging her to safety after realizing how urgent the situation is. Shortly before the ropes break, she is saved. Even though it's their only known route, everybody accepts they are stuck once the bridge is gone. Freaked out, Lewick lashes out at Fred, accusing him of having led them down such a forbidden path. Fred counters that they have to get to the other side of the mountain before nightfall, and that they don't have time to debate. The gang then carries on with its journey, ascending through yet another sheer cliff. They eventually discover that the rope holding their harness has come undone. Fred and Corrine quickly climb forward without using a harness. When they get to the upper surface, they swear to bring the rest of the group along. Loic, Guillaume, and Chloe make every effort to hold on in the moment. Guillaume tells the heavy-breathing Loic to stop talking, but he ignores him. Given Guillaume's evident love for Chloe, he is obviously envious and nasty. Not long after, a dizzy Loic forgets to belay the rope, which sends him falling. Along with him, he pulls Guillaume who is attached down. Chloe doesn't react to the horrifying circumstances since she is still immobilized by the eerie memories of her past. While this is going on, Fred and Kareen are meandering through the jungle in search of a sturdy tree to tie the rope to so they may assist their pals. Fred injures his leg badly when he unintentionally stumbles on a bear trap during this. Kareen tries hard to free his leg, but all it does is hurt him seriously. Fred then instructs her to go gather the others first so they may assist in setting the trap. The three of them can then ascend one after the other once she dashes back to the precipice and lets go of the rope. As the chain to the trap tightens, Fred senses activity in the surrounding trees while she is gone. A few moments afterward, he is abruptly pulled from the scene. As a result, when the gang goes back, they are unable to locate Fred and instead discover only blood on the nearby foliage and the bear trap that is empty and stained with blood. At first, Corrine becomes confused as to how Fred was able to escape the trap, given that they were previously unable to unlock it. She quickly becomes alarmed, though, believing he must have gone off and become lost. Now that they are aware of Fred's untimely departure, the group discusses what to do next. Lewick, a coward, advises them to focus on getting out. Corrine becomes enraged by this and fights with him. But Chloe intervenes and puts an end to the debate, stating that they have to find Fred first. She also makes the point that they can't leave Fred alone because it's almost dusk and all the flare lights are with him. The men are still arguing about Chloe while they scour the area. After this excursion, Locke prevents Guillaume from speaking to Chloe, to which the latter smugly replies that she isn't over him yet. After hearing this, Locke loses it and starts fighting with him. Chloe sees the fight and rushes to break it up, but not before tripping over a pit trap. The others inquire as to her well-being, but they get no answer. They can't see her since the pit is dark and deep. Corrine then uses a rope that she has tied to a stone to rappel down. When she gets inside, she finds that it's actually a spiked poacher's trap with one of the spikes having punctured Chloe's arm. Gillum believes that someone is keeping an eye on them in the meantime. When he tells Locke about it, the latter brushes him off. 
They eventually succeed in extracting Chloe from the pit and tending to her wound. Now that they know someone has put up the traps on purpose, the group decides to exercise extra caution. As they proceed with their mission, it gradually grows dark and begins to pour. Despite her exhaustion and sense of hopelessness, Chloe inspires Kareen to continue. They're too afraid to be by themselves, but they also think that spreading out will make it simpler for them to find Fred fast, so that they can pull on it in case they need assistance. They tie each other with the same rope as a result. They then dispersed and ventured more into the forest. Kareen, who is at the end of the rope, is severely injured a short while later when an arrow pierces her chest. She tries pulling the rope in spite of the discomfort, only to discover that it has been severed. Luckily, Chloe turns around and is shocked to realize that she is hurt. Frantically, she runs to aid, but before she can reach Kareen, an unknown force quickly grabs and drags her away. Chloe, distraught, decides to follow her, but Leo Ike and Guillaume stop her, saying it's unsafe for them to go much farther. After that, the three surviving members of the group take a seat beneath a tree to gather their thoughts. Lowit demands that they leave Fred and Kareen and look for an escape route at this time. This time, the others in the group concur with him, and when the rain ceases, the three depart. They find a house in the jungle and go inside right away in the hopes of getting some assistance. But when they enter, they are met with a somber sight of bleeding, nude Fred lying on a slab. He seemed to have suffered the worst kind of torture, despite Chloe's best efforts to save him. He passes away from shock and blood loss soon after, in spite of her best attempts. Guillaume gives Chloe a comforting embrace as she sobs while Lewick covers the body with a sheet. Lewick goes on to advise them to leave the area immediately, claiming that the attacker might return soon. Guillaume insists that before they depart, they need to locate Fred's supply bag. Guillaume finds a hidden door going to the basement while rummaging through the cabin. Heading downward, he sees a disconcerting sight rows of animal trophies and, even more horrifying, human heads hanging from the ceiling. When he sees Anton scrawled on a wall, he keeps looking for the supplies in spite of his dread. Guillaume then surmises that Anton, the poacher, is the owner of the cabin. Soon after, he discovers the supply bag and departs right away with it. But just then, Guillaume is stopped in his tracks by Luwak, who comes at the top of the stairway. After taking the supply bag, he kicks him back into the cellar, knocking him out cold. Feeling jealous that Guillaume is spending more time with his girlfriend, Luwak confines Guillaume in the cellar and goes back to Chloe. Luwak tells her a falsehood, that Guillaume was trying to leave them both, in an effort to get her to go. Chloe, on the other hand, doesn't think highly of him and won't abandon another buddy. Anton brings Corrine's lifeless body to the cabin during their dispute. He quickly knocks Chloe unconscious before leaping at Luwak. The two guys then get into a fierce brawl, with Luwak obviously having trouble defending himself. Chloe wakes up soon after and goes to assist her boyfriend. However, the cowardly Luwak runs off with a flare, leaving her to perish when she manages to gain the upper hand on Anton and turns to her boyfriend for assistance. Chloe is consequently quickly overwhelmed and brought to the ground by the poacher. She eventually comes to and finds herself in the basement with Guillaume, both of them chained to the wall. While Anton disembowels Fred and Corrine's bodies upstairs, the pair makes a valiant effort to escape their captivity. Chloe is almost free from her restraints at one point, but Anton comes back and drags her upstairs in order to murder her. However, Luwak has nowhere to go as he runs out of flares going through the woods. Guillaume manages to get out of his chains back in the basement. However, he discovers the cellar door is locked when he tries to follow Chloe. With a knife in hand, Anton carefully moves toward Chloe, but before he can hurt her, Loic appears and uses a rock to assault the poacher. After that, a furious Anton pulls out his crossbow and pursues Loic into the forest. Guillaume and Chloe both have ample time to unwind thanks to this diversion. The latter wishes to get away, but Chloe is adamant about rescuing her partner. Louis cries out in pain as Anton fires an arrow into his leg in the interim. He fearlessly stands up and engages the attacker in combat in spite of this. Louis uses all of his effort to take the arrow off his leg and stab Anton during the fierce struggle. He then uses a rock to strike the poacher multiple times before scuttling away. Unfortunately though, he trips and falls off the cliff, hanging precariously from a cliffside ladder. Anton observes him from a distance before slipping from view. Guillaume reaches out to help him up as Chloe and him arrive on the scene shortly after. Guillaume chooses to assist him at first, but shortly after, his rage and loathing for what Loic did to him earlier consumes him. He consequently pretends that his grasp is slipping and purposefully allows him to fall to his death. Guillaume tries to give Chloe a hug as she sobs over the loss of her partner. Guillaume is instantly killed when Anton fires a crossbow arrow into his head. Chloe throws a knife at Anton because she is so angry and wants revenge, and they fight viciously as a result. With ease, Anton takes control and starts to beat her. But then he stops abruptly when Chloe screams his name. She then takes advantage of this to savagely chop off his throat. 
As Chloe is about to strike him fatally, she is interrupted by visions of her deceased patient. She consequently leaves him behind and makes her way, sobbing, down the cable to safety. But the threat hasn't been eliminated yet Anton grabs the knife and charges toward the cable. A loud snap is heard as Chloe descends, and the screen goes black, suggesting that Anton was able to break the line. The movie closes with the announcement that only Loak's body has been located Fred, Kareen, Guillaume, and Chloe are still unaccounted for. Furthermore, the five-year-old son Anton has been abducted he has never been heard from again. Numerous people disappear in the same location each year for no apparent reason. Thanks for watching my videos. Please like and subscribe for more.